Some people think you need to study computer science to land a job as a software engineer. But that could not be further than the truth, and I can say this because I do not have a computer science degree. If you're new here, hi, my name is Zoe. I'm a software engineer and former university professor that loves teaching folks how to code. If you're interested in learning how to code, check out the bootcamp that I run. It's the first link in the description below. In this video, I'll be showing you what steps I would take if I wanted to land a job as a software engineer without a computer science degree. Most of these steps are what I actually did or wish I had done in order to get my current role. So let's hop into the video. Step number one is to learn the languages you're gonna need to code. So you're gonna to wanna to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript, and then some sort of front end framework or library like React. Then you're also gonna to wanna to learn how to host your projects so that people can see the work you've done. Check out Codecademy, Free Code Camp, YouTube tutorials, or I mean, you could even check out my bootcamp if you want a cheaper shortcut. But the first step is to learn languages. Step two, you wanna build a portfolio website and at least three awesome projects. Some ideas for this are e-commerce sites, informational sites, task management apps, really anything that shows off your skills in the implementation as well as the architecture. And bonus points if you can make any of them full stack projects or rely on APIs. Step number three, you wanna brush up your resume and your GitHub to highlight those projects. Having a great resume is essential to getting seen, but also having an excellent GitHub profile will make you stand out amongst the crowd. If you wanna see the resume that I used to get a software engineering job, I'll leave a link to that video at the end. Number four, practice interviewing. Interviewing for a software engineering job isn't like a regular job interview. You'll have your standard sort of behavior interviews, but you'll also have technical interviews and sometimes more than one. So you'll wanna take some time to prepare for both, but especially the technical interviews. For front end engineers, technical interviews will usually take the form of building a project on a call with an interviewer or being given a take home project to do at your own pace. Whichever option you get, make sure that you're able to do it in an efficient manner. And bonus tip, if you do end up building a project on a call with an interviewer, make sure that you're explaining to the interviewer the steps that you're taking, unless they ask you specifically not to. But I do find that explaining my decisions and even asking questions if it's appropriate, in the past allowed me to build a rapport with my interviewer and those are usually the jobs that I got called back for. Number five, start applying to jobs, but not to full-time roles, and I'll explain. At this point, the only thing you'll have on your resume are the projects you've worked on for yourself and any prior work experience. And unless your prior work experience is particularly relevant to software engineering, it's not gonna be really helpful for the job application process. So I'd highly recommend that you start off your applications by looking towards more freelance positions, any internships, or even apprenticeships that will allow you to gain some practical, real industry experience. The benefit of doing this is that you get to work on real projects with real deadlines and even hopefully a team, which will give you that relevant practical experience you need to put on your resume. Number six, continue to practice your interviewing skills and incorporate any new technologies you've learned at your new job. Number seven, you'll also wanna update your portfolio and resume with at least one new major project based on any new skills you've learned at your new job. If you've learned a new language or a new framework, make sure to add that to your resume. Show it off on your GitHub so that people know that you're growing and progressing. Number eight, after about one to three roles or on average three to six months, I think you're now ready to start applying for your first full-time permanent job. By this point, you should have a good amount of experience. Definitely enough for you to qualify for a junior engineer, if not a software engineer position. And step nine. Getting a job in this industry is in large part a numbers game. When I was applying for my first role, I sent out anywhere between 25 and 50 applications per day, and it took me over a month to get my first full-time offer. But if you followed all the steps in this video so far, in time, you'll get that first offer. When you do, come back here and comment down below to let us know that you did. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you wanna see more content like this, feel free to subscribe down below. And if you're interested in getting a software engineering job this year, check out this playlist here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.